Hello, beloved people of God. It is Deja. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you all so much for being here. I love and appreciate you all so much. So in today's video, I want to quickly get into this word. I actually was supposed to record this video like two days ago, but I needed more um, revelation from the Lord and the Lord blessed me with that today. So I want to go ahead and quickly get into it. Quickly, I want to go ahead and thank everybody who has sown a seed in this past week. I have been praying over them. Testimonies are coming in of people receiving funds, loan approvals, checks in the mail. Glory be to God. If you feel led to sow, you may go ahead and do so using any of the links in the description section. But you guys, I am so excited for this word. I'm so excited. And I don't ever post words like this. So that's why I'm actually excited. So the other night I was laying in bed and um, I had just finished praying and talking to the Lord. And the Lord had blessed me with a vision of a big, huge engagement ring and that's all it was like a big huge engagement ring and it was like turning and the lord is reminding me right now that that's actually not the first time that he's saw showed me an engagement ring um but he showed me an engagement ring and i was in shock like i literally was like oh. <laughs> just because i don't ever get words about marriage and stuff like that and i don't want to just make up some word about marriage that's not who i am so i just want you guys to be excited about this you guys know look at my channel history i don't often talk about marriage but i'm today i'm getting to so the Lord showed me the engagement ring and he also showed me, I asked him to minister to me about what that meant because it got me excited. It actually had me a little bit shook. And then he showed me, then he told me the number one, two, three. And I'm just like, all right, Lord, you've said one, two, three before for other things. What are you meaning in this case? And so then the Lord brought me to Exodus 12, verse 3. And as you guys know, Exodus 12 is about the Passover, um, how the Israelites were pretty much just celebrate, how the Lord instructed the Israelites to celebrate their liberation from bondage to Egypt. And I want to go ahead and quickly read to you guys, because um, I was like, Lord, I don't know, I understand exactly what you're trying to tell me with this. But I allowed the Lord to minister to me. And he also had me do some research on um, Exodus 12. And so I went ahead and this is what I found. It says, God gave the Israelites the Passover, um, Exodus 12 verses 1 through 13, to signify the readiness for change. It represented day one of a new start a new life of trusting in and following the Lord. And then it also talks about the three features of the Passover emphasize and how to prepare for that new life, which is sacrifice, sandals, and a blood mark. So beloved people of God, sorry about the ankle. What the Lord began to minister to me is obviously one, two, three steps and um, I thought it was it was going to be like one, two, three, like it's going to happen quickly. But no, the Lord is saying the steps to prepare for marriage. God wants to prepare his sons and his daughters. A lot of us have been asking God for marriage, believing in God for marriage. And um, the promise may seem kind of far for a lot of people, but there's steps that the Lord is requiring of you to get ready for marriage. And I know that sacrifice is definitely like a big one um, because marriage is a sacrifice. You're sac sacrificing your lifestyle as you once knew it as a single individual and you're sharing it with somebody else. So you're, you're sacrificing that time and um, certain ways to to make your spouse a happy person just like they would do for you um so that's another big thing that the lord was ministering and just taking those proper steps glory be to god that way you can be in position for when your husband or your wife comes and and introduces themselves to you or however that encounter is supposed to happen as ordained by God. The Lord is also speaking to me about Esther. Glory be to God. So I'm thinking that this word is a little bit more for the women than it is for the men. But the Lord is also speaking to me about Esther, showing me 414 again. We do know that Esther went through like this whole like beauty routine, these whole beauty like training and stuff like that to prepare herself to go before the king. And eventually the king wind up choosing Esther. And so God is just ministering um 
be ready, you know, get yourself cleaned up, make sure that your heart posture is in the right place, make sure that you're not making an idol out of marriage. That's a huge one. And that's another reason why I don't often talk about marriage on my channel or even pray for the Lord to bless me with the word about it. But I'm excited to share this word. I'm excited for testimonies. I never get to talk about marriage on my channel, but this is exciting. Um, also, I have a ebook about dating you guys can go ahead and check that out the link is in the description um under the one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions also you can go ahead and book a coaching session there too if you desire to seek some more counsel and or counsel and coaching mentoring for this next se season and phase in your life so that's really exciting as well check that out first link in the description I'm rushing through this word a little bit just a tad because i have somewhere to run but also the time right now is 444 and divine appointments you know divine appointments when esther got picked up and they were brought to where the king was um it was all strategic it was all divine some of you are going to meet your husbands through divine appointments through um you know a friend of a friend or a family member or taking a trip getting yourself out there glory be to god um, just seek the Lord in it. Um, but I'm excited to give this word. Let me know if you're excited about marriage, if that's something that you're excited about. If you are, drop some rings in the comment section down below. That would be great. Um, I do want to quickly pray a prayer for you guys for marriage. It has been on my heart to do that with my flare group and I did that in the past, but I want to go ahead and do that with you guys quickly now and then I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Heavenly Father, in the mighty and matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. Well, I don't know why I'm so excited about this word, but you do. I just thank you, God. I thank you, God, for the promise of marriage and those lives that you have promised marriage, Lord. I thank you that you're preparing us, that you're putting us in a place, in a position for our new life and this new chapter, this new beginning, for all these new changes, the excitement, the joy the the fresh flowers i'm just seeing roses being able to smell the roses having that romance i just thank you god for all of these things in christ jesus mighty name i thank you god for allowing me to be a mouthpiece for your word and for your glory god and i just thank you god that you're blessing us with that fresh anointing that anointing of esther for my women that are believing in god for marriage that you're going to make them ready you're going to make them strong and to not make idols out of marriage father god but to walk into it with grace and dignity knowing who our God and our Father is, Lord God. So I just thank you, God, for the promise of marriage. I thank you, God, for the partnership and the beauty that's going to transpire through that union in Christ Jesus' mighty name. All right. Amen and amen. I wasn't expecting um, to be even able to pray about that, but I'm really grateful that I'm able to. Again, apologies if the word is a little bit rushed, but I do want to encourage some of my women and my men today it's time for you to get prepared. Marriage is coming, a new life, a new chapter. And let me know in the comment section if you want me to go to want me to go in deeper with this word when I have more time. All right. I love you all so much. God bless you. And I will see you in my next video. If you feel led to sow into this word, go ahead and do so using any of the links in the description section. Um, subscribe and like this video. Share this word with your bestie who's also believing for marriage or a family member. I don't know. I love you all so much and you have a very blessed day.